so here we are in a in a new file we'll just say this is like the lighting file so in order for it to be that we need a light so what we want to do is uh, take the thinking particles now that we have that selected we can go down to where we saved it in uh, systems and we have debris cache so uh, in production uh, uh, we create a folder um, maybe based on scenes and then um, the scene assemblers every time they have a new project they'd have a separate INI w that would write to a different location and so they would click down on the they'd have you know it would be the Jabberwocky project so they'd have scene 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and whatever scene they're in they go down to the scene and then they see what particles uh, are created for them so I just saved it in systems and I'm just going to click down a debris crash and I'm going to go uh, create new because I don't have one yet I don't have a uh, and there they are uh, in the file playing so with uh, a couple clicks you have the whole particle system in this new file and there's a couple things that we need to set up uh, I don't believe we need this this is going to keep things uh, speedy um, but in order to assign materials and make it manageable on layers we do need we do need this clicked. We need show mesh. We see the mesh. Groups as objects. And so this is a mesher. This is really important for a couple reasons to have uh, uh, groups as objects clicked. So in scene assembly, um, we have the onion. Oh no. So let's just open up uh, the onion. So, what we can do is, oh, this is the wrong file, shit. Just minimize that. Here's our right file. Let me just get, grab the onion here. And we have no layers. So, we can make effects layer. Just a minute, it's off my screen at the moment. New layer and we can select bring up hit up H all is like everything and then here's the debris group so you know we we have to uh, rename this um, more appropriately like effects TP group so the people know um, add selected to layer and then when we toggle this layer um, there's our that's how that's how uh, it's easy to manage for scene assembly whether we need to see it or not and very easy to apply materials to just uh, select the object there's your material alternate materials everything all that stuff works very fast playback obviously this isn't uh, a big example but you know so say we have this in the file and what do we see here particles are deleting that's not good. So that's a note um, somebody would say. So we have to, we got to go out to the other file. Now I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is going to write out um, still. So we're in our, uh, back in our effects file. Disable that, stop that. So this was this was pretty much the same thing we dropped. So we can remove this. We don't need that anymore. Um, we can turn this on, and we can let's change the life on this to twelve and ten. So this is probably something that I'd like to hook up into here, but I'll do that later and let's record it again oh it's not damn so I think it's because uh, another file is using it so I'm gonna just uh, pause and alright so I built uh, built the cache and so I was um, right in the fact that if um, 
another file has that t is reading that TPS, it's not going to record to it. It's not going to record when it's in use. So um, we're going to open up the other max file again, and uh, we'll see if these results are updated. So the thing that would maybe fix that is have a read in the write. So just soon as we're um, we're done, we copy to a we just like there's point it, uh, point cache for animation read and write. We'd have a uh, point cache read and write for um, TP. So uh, here's the new file. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna pop. And here they are in the scene assembly file, and they're updated. So we made the change to the life, and in this file that they're already in, changes have been made. Two separate files. One's where effects artist is working in one file, and then somebody else is uh, lighting and doing the materials in the other. And if uh, we have a specific material, we could save it out out to a uh, material library. And so this this was caching in and out, and then we'll see if we can uh, expand this in another video.